Mirror is 6-4. Oh my god, don't get me started on that. <laughs> I, so I studied math in college and that just that when I saw that I, this just absolutely triggered every bone in my body and I just I I can't talk about it that's what I mean about like axes and matchup charts oh yeah clearly we're seeing the matchup at play here good lord that orb hitting so high hitting Zato mid-flight if I'm not mistaken this is also a famously tough matchup uh, for, for Zato happy chaos versus Zato so maybe not entirely um sandbagging if you will from Aaron but rather choosing to go with a happy chaos to test things out because like I said they have a happy chaos it's a, a pretty good skill set on this player with this character unfortunately frog combos here leading into uh, Zato with a whole lot of meter we're gonna see sword super sword super sword super if you make it through this block string that is if you don't get your burst baited dead it can happen oh so fast yep <laughs> And that was actually burst safe. Once the grab comes through, you're still um, immune, basically, while the opposed oh. picks up. It's like that drone situation. Electing to kill Eddie with the burst. I mean, they, they had to know that wouldn't hit Zato, but they just wanted Eddie down so bad for all the good it'll do. And it looks like Jewel threatening the grab option pretty early in the set. That is very important against people who are familiar with Zato counterplay, who are good at blocking the high-low. And then once that mental stack is built up again, then it becomes a little more likely. The wall slump classic. Oh no, if I were in Jewel's shoes, I would have bursted on that first loop personally. I, I think you don't want to mess with the, the slump loops at all. Oh no! Why are she just going to be out of range and Jewel yeah. taking the round? My word, not even, you know, being forced to use bursts there. Very, very comfortable, in fact. Yeah, smart preservation, and again, that's just good for, you know, you can play around what patterns you're establishing early in the set by demonstrating that you're the kind of player to hold on to burst. That means that maybe where you could get a burst safe combo, um, the the player is going to try to sacrifice that and go for extra damage. Then you burst out and you're cooking. We'll see how Jewel takes advantage of these these things early in the set. It looks like Aaron might be going for a swap though. See Fresh, what do you think? I would after that. I would say I think they're just far more comfortable as a tournament player on Leo from what I've seen. You know, for uh, for people who are watching who might not be super deep into fighting games, if, if you happen to be out there, you might have you know be wondering, like, why are combos so long? That seems to be something really holding me back from fighting games. Well, the thing we're just talking about kind of has to do with that, where you can choose to do less safe or, or perhaps more difficult combos or, or ones that your opponent can burst out of for more damage. Uh, or you can elect to do, you know, generally shorter, less damaging, easier combos uh, right. that are safer. Part of the thing that makes the combo game kind of intricate, there's also decision making inside the combo, like where do I want them to end up when I'm done with my combo? Do I want a wall break here? Even though it would do more damage, if I do a wall break combo, maybe I'd have more advantage and do more damage on average, just based on the likelihood of opening them up again by keeping them in the corner. All those kinds yeah. of things go into the combo game at this level, and so it's very interesting to watch. I can't believe he backdashed the overhead at that range! Nobody does that! Into the very confident run-up grab, speaking of very confident run-ups, Throw bait from Aaron there. Another throw bait from Aaron. Jewel not biting the second time, though. Remember, Leo needs buffs. Yep, but right here uh, we're seeing just this low tier character making an honest <laughs> <thumbnail>. <laughs> These, these <laughs> two mid tiers unable to compete. Aaron sending it on the DP there, not afraid of this auto command grab. And getting a kill for his for, uh, for their troubles, rather. Oh my. That was uh, extreme. You know, Aaron's got burst, and it was, you know, early in the, uh, oh, very clean. We, we don't see a lot of that. A lot of, you know, players, even at this level, tend to find it very difficult to deal with the uh, run-through. But Aaron's throw game is just on another level right here. You cannot get hit by that guard crush. Yeah, it's you cannot let him. Plus 21. Plus 21, there, that guard crush, so. There's two, two things low. you cannot let a Leo player do, and it's, uh, hit the, oh my word, just jabbing on, like, um, you can't let him hit the command grab, and you can't let him hit the guard crush. Yep. Very good recognition from uh, from Aaron there, by the way, at the end, running through the oppose, getting the grab. Ooh, so far, it's looking like uh, uh, very much more comfortable, as you were saying, on the Leo is Aaron to Mac, and that round much more convincing. Yeah, I have no doubt that Aaron has a has a pretty clean, happy chaos, but um, you know, there's something to be said for just like being comfortable as a character right you're like hey i've played i've played and won so many tournaments as this guy like you know this is where this is where my experience is definitely and and we'll see if jewel can manage to make the adaptation to this leo maybe try to find a little more on uh, safe opportunities because aaron did get some great mileage out of the infamous leo hdp right there 
I feel like Jewel is playing uh, so risky in the layout too. Like we saw him, you know, jabbing on wake up, stuff like that, which which works of course, but is terrifying to try to do. Mm -hmm. Yep, this is Leo here, so one mistake and you're putting back turn pressure. A great conversion off the air grab though, and that's going to be a wall break. Of course, Zotto having the best set play in the game after a, a wall break super here, and so we'll see if with the positive bonus, Jewel is able to carry it out. Yeah, incredibly clean defense out here from Jewel. Like, not letting any of the Leo shenanigans begin. Now's the real test. Back turn pressure, you've got full meter. Air backdash BRC, very, very smart stuff. That's one way to get out, and the mix-up opens up Aaron to Mac. That's going to be the round going over to Jewel. Wow, that was just great. Like you said, great responses on defense. Very, very good stuff. Both players holding on to burst here, coming into round two. Yeah, it's oh, such tough fly players. pressure. There's the burst. Yeah, that, that is Zata's biggest starter. Counter hit 2H while it poses out. Definitely worth bursting there. Now Jewel with a big advantage, not finding the punish on the on the on the Berserker slash there though. <laughs> Jewel electing not to hold any back turn pressure and simply bursting uh, Aaron over into the corner here. It looks like Jewel getting a little greedy there with the drunkard shade and Aaron correctly mashing out. Now it's a very even game here. That Eddie kill on the 2K was great right there. Like he spotted it off summon. Oh, that is dirty. I'm pretty sure you can't oh. do that, by the way. You, you, you have to just block that, and even if you do, you're not in a great spot. Wow, Aaron Aaron taking that round pretty pretty convincingly. Getting hit by a single back turn K is it's enough to open me up mentally, if anything else. Interesting drunkard shade. I wonder what the thought was. He, he was just you know hoping it would connect. And another cross-up berserker slash in the corner to open up Jewel. Trying to backdash the guard crush there, but if you don't time it properly, you will get exploded. It will catch your backdash if you do it too early. And Aaron Demac just deleting the HP right after. Yeah, I hit. wonder if that was for the guard crush specifically, or if uh, Jewel was just trying to make some space and the guard crush happened to be uh, what was letting it rip. That is a good point. That is a good point. But that's one of the things that makes that counterplay a little bit tricky against the guard crush. You never want to get hit by that move, as we were saying. It's just um, the best possible scenario on block for Leo. But Not then, only is it plus a billion, but it has the unfortunate side effect of making Leos uh, begin to feel themselves, which is the, the worst possible right. debuff you could imagine. Right. right, 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 exactly. And also gives you a very, very large, you know, low scaling combo if you manage to get the hit with meter, as we saw there. Another Ooh, throw shimmy. bait. My god, Aaron's throw bait game is just fantastic. I gotta say, my favorite thing about Leo is you're like, wow, this character's good. This character kind of goes nuts, you know, if, if he can get into the back turn thing. It's like, Eddie also has a really good fireball. Like, that's so funny to me. Mm -hmm. Good Eddie yep. kill with no punish. And actually, the movement is surprisingly decent, too, but the step dash, you know, that, that helps you get in against characters with the dash block a lot of the time in this game. Yeah, not just step dash, but, uh, you know, both of your, oh god, I forget the names of them, but your, your uh, quarter circle forward slash and heavy slash, the, the one that gets you into back turn, both move you forward a horrendous amount. Yeah, no, this character can, can have some very good burst options, especially with the 5k as well, getting in there. Wow, okay, that's some matchup recognition right there. You see Aaron Demac using the guard point to kill Eddie. I hadn't even thought of that, that was smart. Aaron Mac absolutely sending DPs to kill Eddie too, and not getting punished too badly for it. I mean, you see he's about eh, half health here, which is, uh, that's livable for Leo. And again, choosing to burst with the, uh, you know, getting opened up while Oppose is out, that's a very good spot to burst because you'll just get your health deleted if you get counter hit when Oppose is in front of you. Yeah, we were talking about that earlier too, of like, you know, using your defensive options to kill Eddie. Like, that's a good way to interact with Sato. It's a, you know, intelligent use of your resources. But that's not stopping Jewel from bringing back this round here. Post wall break with positive bonus. Just don't both of them up. with positive bonus. Actually, trying to grab the cross up berserker slash there, and your your burst got baited by the stance cancel. Oh wow! I was so worried that combo was gonna drop. Clearly, uh, Aaron knew what was yeah. up. I was like, oh, so he's, he's hanging there. there. 